In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some effects, some lighting effects to create mood and kind of an atmosphere uh, for a flash mystery hunt and click game. So you can see here I have the flash file, and this is the finished product. I hit control enter, and you can see that this is kind of the lighting, and I've created these shadow effects so that when the light goes on, you can kind of see the lights and then there's also this like type of lightning effect and then if I roll over my cursor my mouse cursor like say over here you can see this is a button and if I roll over this towel there's a button here I could click on this now I can't there's nothing I haven't created the interactivity so even though I can roll the cursor here over this scary bathroom in different places you can see though the buttons are ready to go to create some interactivity and this lighting effect is pretty cool at creating some mood so I'm going to show you how to set something like this up and how to do this in Flash and Photoshop. Now to create a project like this, you're going to need some resources. So the first thing I did was I grabbed my camera and I got a tripod and I used my own bathroom and I set the camera on the tripod and I made sure not to move the camera and I took multiple images of the bathroom that I could then use for this project and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll close this and we'll open up the folder and we'll look at the images. So here are the images that I was able to take. Um, you can see here, maybe I can get some super large icons here. So I took a bunch of images of the bathroom from the tripod trying not to move it. I actually did end up moving the tripod a couple of times which is bad because I wanted to register the same place. And I added a candle for lighting effect and I turned the lights on and off um, and I adjusted also the settings on my camera. I put my Canon camera in manual user mode so that the flash would not go off. I didn't want to uh, shoot a flash on the scene. I wanted to take dark images of the restroom and then I turned on the lights outside and then I wanted to take lighter images of the uh, bathroom scene. So important to get like a range of pictures from dark to light. And then I took these pictures and I imported them into Photoshop. So I'll show you Photoshop now. So in Photoshop, here are the two images that created that scene. The bottom image, layer zero, you can see is dark version of the restroom. Lights are kind of off and it's pretty dark. And then the top layer, layer one, I have the lights on outside and I added this candle and it's a little bit lighter. Once again, I did set my camera into manual mode so that I could create, I could adjust the shutter speed and the aperture so that I could take a dark version and a light version of the image. Now to get two images on separate layers in Photoshop, all you need to do is I'll just open up one of those images. So I'll say file open and let's say I want to just open up one of these images. So I'll open up let's say the first image. Alright, there's that dark image, right? I've actually used that one before. Now if I want to add this image into my other file, notice the two files here. Here's the first file with the two layers, and here's the image I just opened up, right? It's one layer. What I can do is I can copy and paste this image over into this scene, or I can use the selection tool and I can just drag and drop the image to the other layer. For instance, I can just take this selection tool and take this image. I'm going to click and drag and drag right over to the other tab. And then you can see it's I, when I let go of the, um, with the mouse button, you can see the image drops in on a new layer, right? So that's one way of doing it. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. Delete that layer. And of course, the other way of doing it is just use your image here. Do select all and then edit, copy, and then go to where the scene where you want to paste it into, and do an edit, paste special, paste in place, which is the same as paste in the same place, and you can see it automatically pastes on its own layer. Okay, so I don't need this layer though because I already have my two layers, so I'll just drag that to the little trash can here, and so I've got my two layers ready to go, and I'm going to show you how we get them to the next state. Now, the key thing was to get both of these images aligned correctly. 
So as you can see, when I turn the eyeball on and off on the upper layer, the toilet paper doesn't move up and down, and the towel rod here, right, the towel rod doesn't move up and down. The window doesn't jump back and forth. In other words, these two images are perfectly aligned. Now to do that, you just need to make sure that the camera is on a tripod and that it doesn't move. And then also, once you drop your images in, you can move them by nudging them. So with the selection tool selected, I can use my keyboard here and I'll just use the arrows on the keyboard and I will go to the right. So if I click on the right arrow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see it's nudging, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With the left arrow. So you can nudge it. You can also just drag it, move it around, but you want to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. So the finished scene with the two layers looks like this. And you can see here, here's the bottom layer the dark version. It's now black and white and it's got a grainy look to it. You can see here if I zoom in on it, you can see how I was able to get kind of a grainy texture to it. And the top layer, you can see if I turn the eyeball on, there's the top layer also black and white and this is the light version. So the flash animation is basically created from two images. The light image where the lights are basically on and the dark image where the lights are off. So how do we do this with this image right here? We're gonna change this to black and white and then apply those effects to darken the image.